name is Birdbrain and today we are talking about exports, but more specifically vector exports. Because yes, Harmony is used for animation and games worldwide, it's pretty great, but sometimes people forget that it's a very powerful software to do all your merch in. Which is what I do. If I do my buttons, my pins, my posters, I like to work in vector because then I have my artwork and if I want to print on a small, small thing or a very big billboard ad, I will always be fine because my art is made with vector, so no matter how much I zoom in, it's still gonna be great. And if I use the pencil tool, I can even have a very big texture and put it on them, but know that the texture is only going to export in a raster format. It's not gonna work in vector. So today's tutorial is about how do you take an image from Harmony and export it as a vector, either for printing or just for your own personal joy. <laughs> And the design I'm gonna use today is this little ponytail and swablu design I made for my cousin's small business. So my cousin has a small business called Milky Milky Embroidery and she makes the most lovely, very high quality, unique embroidery. And all the artists that work on these embroideries are very well compensated for their work on her sweaters. And you know, she's just the sweetest. So if you like cute, fun stuff, make sure to check out her store. One of my favorite is the Kirby with a knife. <laughs> but yeah, so I made her this design for one of her upcoming shirts and I thought I would use it to show you guys how to export your vectors. So there's many ways to export vectors in Harmony. Today I'm just going to show you like for a um, static image such as for merch or other shop that would require you to give them like a vector PDF, for example. You can go into file export and there is going to be the SWF, but SWF is generally more for if you want to export to Flash, right? So this is not what we're going to talk about today, but at least you know that it's there. If you're curious, you can check the documentation. Today I'm going to show you like another way that is a bit more hidden. <laughs> so I have my drawing. At the moment, it is connected to a regular composite. So when I go to render, I have a raster image. So when I zoom in, it looks like a raster image. Um, the one I want to keep is the nice vector look. So how do you do that? You make another composite. I mean, you can take the same one, but I, I'd rather have both of them side by side for the sake of the tutorial. And then I go here into the properties and into mode, you have as bitmap, as seamless bitmap, pass through, and you have as vector. So for all of you who are wondering what the heck was that, that's what it is. So if you set it to vector, it's going to have a very funky shape. Very nice, very nice. And then if you take your artwork and you connect it to it, boop, and then you take this and, you know, I'm just going to steal this right. <laughs> and I'm going to go into the right node and I'm going to set it to a PDF. I mean, there's probably other types of vector exports. Personally, the only one I had to use for like merch and stuff is the PDF one. But maybe your printer is going to ask you for another format, but I'm going to use PDF. I'm just going to make sure that my naming is right. So I usually put V before if I export a vector, so then I remember and I close it. And then when I render it out, because you know, I already did, it's like a cooking show, everything is already done. Here is the vector export. So it's a PDF and no matter how much I zoom in and out, it's going to be perfect. To give you an idea, I exported the same image, but with the composite set to bitmap and this is what it gave me. So it's a raster image and it's got very low quality thing. So that's why printer shop, usually for like t-shirts and mug and stuff, they ask for vector because then they can change the size of the design to put it on the appropriate merch object. And then they resize that as a vector. And then depending on the software, usually last minute, they will render it as a raster so that they have the lowest loss in terms of quality in the borders and stuff. Like here, there is a lot of loss because I had to zoom in to get this design, uh, which is why a vector is better. Okay, but that's not all. So yes, you just have to put your composite as a vector and plug it into any right node, but there's more to it, okay? So Harmony is a powerful vector software, but it doesn't mean that the software you're gonna import that image to after is gonna be as powerful. So if you have a pencil line with a texture, so I'm gonna just put a texture here pretty quickly. It is not going to export in the vector because the texture is not a vector, it's a bitmap, right? So that's not gonna work. So always make sure that everything is set to vector. And also usually like 90% of the time, the softwares don't understand pencil lines either. So texture or not, you should get rid of your pencil lines. And to do that, it's pretty simple. You just take your image. I do control A to select all my pencil lines. And then I go to drawing, convert, and I convert my pencil lines to brush stroke. And when I do that, you shouldn't see a difference. Maybe it's gonna take a little time to calculate, but you shouldn't see a difference. And then you're gonna see that your pencil lines are now brush strokes. Brush strokes is still defined. Every software that deals with vector, like understand them, they're pretty simple. However, uh, here you see that I repainted my lines. Here I used a repaint brush, so everything is good. I just have my purple line and my blue lines side by side, and there's no problem. But if I go here for the sake of the tutorial, I use the overlay brush. So it means that it put the blue on top of the pink. So when you 
kind of tr transform them as brush stroke, you're gonna have this problem that happens here where you have the blue and the pink on top of one another and it's not great. So before you convert pencils to brush, always make sure that everything is flat before you do so so you don't have any little nasty surprises. And also this only works with flat images if you have a rig with like cutters and cut overrides and auto patch and stuff like it is not going to understand so it's really just for images that you draw and you want to export them as a pdf okay so i hope this was interesting and i cannot wait to see all the cool merch and vectors export that you make have a nice day